Hello, hello, and welcome, or welcome back to my channel. My name is Blair Lamb, and I make videos about lifestyle, motherhood, travel, and lately a lot of home content. We are in the middle of my garage right now, and today is the first day that we are really starting to pack some things and get ready for our move. It is Saturday, and we move on Friday, so we still have about four or five days. Um, the, we hired movers to move boxes and large items, but they are not going to do the packing. We are doing the packing. So my mom is in town right now. If you want to come say hi, you don't have to. Hello, everyone. <laughs> it's always the same. You always come behind me with this. <laughs> it's like, well, who is it from Seinfeld? <laughs> so that's what we're, we're working. working. Yeah, it's hot. It's very hot and we're working. So what we're planning on doing today and what we're starting to work on is um, items that we don't want to have to pack in like bubble wrap or newspaper or whatever um, because if we are loading it into a moving truck or if they are loading it into a moving truck, the movers, then we have to have them all packed. So like my crock pot and things like that, we're just putting in the back of our cars because we're only moving across the city instead of, we're not moving like cross country. So we can just drive it out to the new house and then drop it off. And then this week we're planning on taking multiple, you know, car loads and Riley has a truck, so truck loads. So that's kind of what we're working on today. While my mom and I are doing that and Colin's napping and Nora's playing, my dad and Riley went to Home Depot and they got um, a new vanity for our powder room, new toilets for, di for the different bathrooms in the house new faucets and they're over at the new house installing the vanity the toilets and the faucets um, so they're kind of getting those home improvement things done while we're working on the starting garage. to to get the garage because we've used the garage as a storage place while we have been store staging the house um, with showings and whatnot so typically this is empty and I park my car in here but it's very much not empty right now um, so that's kind of the story of what we're working on. I'll show you what we already have in the back of my car. And um, after we have two carloads of stuff, my mom's car and mine, we're going to go out to the new house and unload it. And then we're going to spend a couple of hours cleaning um, the new house. That's okay. Oh, Olipop. I've never tried these. Oh, they're so good. This is my favorite. Cream, Cream soda, soda is my favorite. But I so don't, this will be I a life, life taste. I don't drink soda, though. Okay, well, let's see. So is it seltzer water or soda? It's kind of in, in the middle. It's a healthy soda. Mm. Well, that's good. 40 calories. Yeah, that's pretty good. Can't beat that for a soda. You're that's high. really good. Yeah, it has a bunch of fiber and prebiotics in it and stuff. Oh, it's like goodness. healthy for you. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> you can use code Blair15 for 15% 15 off. That's what I was going to say. I had to drink my soda first. <laughs> so that's kind of what we're doing today. Anything to add? Um, no, we'll, we'll add at the end of the day. <laughs> well, we're going to clean. We're going to deep clean. I yeah. love cleaning. Does anybody else love cleaning? There's just something about it. I mean, it. we all kind of love, we just really love I a clean I love a clean spot. kitchen yeah. and clean bathrooms, so we are going to scrub them head to toe. That'll be fun. Yeah. So let me show you what we've already, this is what we, I mean, we're obviously not going to pack all of this, but some of the loose stuff, which I'll show you here what we're kind of doing so here's the back of my car so we have some appliances like I don't feel like packaging up you know I'm wrapping I don't know my crock pot the insta pie the ninja creamy and like all that kind of stuff I bought all this stuff these are like um, toiletries for the pool bathroom and then these are just hand soaps that I bought for the new house so we're just gonna take those out there you know like my bread maker so this is Riley's Xbox among all the kitchen appliances and that was our guest globe from our wedding that everybody signed so we're gonna go ahead and take this kind of stuff out we're also gonna load up the cleaning supplies and then um, whatever else <laughs> which there's quite a bit else um, that we can take Close and that way when the movers come we already have boxes up there over there so when the movers come it will be as as streamlined as possible and there won't be a whole bunch of you know loose items because they'll charge if they have all these loose items that they have to pack up so that's that. What a day it's already been. So my mom and I finished doing what we were working on earlier. And so we have two cars fully packed with stuff. So we're starting to take it into the house. We're at the new house now. Um, my dad and Riley went and bought three new toilets and then they came home and unboxed them. And two of them are completely 
um, like shattered in the box. Like, look, can you see this? This crack. I honestly, we're all just like already exhausted and we're probably like halfway through what we want to get done today. It's our, it's 2.30. So. Hi, Norni. So let me show you what they're up to. All right, what are you up to? Uh, installing a toilet and installing a vanity. Hi, Dad. Hello. Just put the toity in. <laughs> um, so here's the one intact toilet. Here's the, wow, that's loud. Here's the vanity and the topper. I'm sorry it's so loud. <laughs> so we've put all of these like small kitchen things in this hall, um, these hall cabinets, and then a few other things, and there's still some extra space, which is nice, um, so that we can, the kitchen entrance is right here, so it's very convenient. What I'm about to do is, um, in the laundry room, we have this big wall of cabinets that I had painted a light blue. And then we also have some cabinetry above where the washer and dryer will be. So I bought some really pretty champagne gold hardware to go on it. So I'm gonna go ahead and install that. I think it's gonna make it look super pretty. I'm really excited. but they are champagne colored. They're a little lighter than they look here on camera, but gosh, it makes the whole room feel so pulled together. Look how pretty. I really, really like them. <laughs> look. Mom is feeding the kids and scrubbing down the kitchen. How has that been so far? This kitchen is disgusting. <laughs> I can't even tell you. I literally have only done the sink and this and that side. It looks like they it looks like they took pancake syrup and just let it drip down the Who doesn't clean this? It's disgusting. Look, look at this. I mean I know. I I genuinely don't think anything was ever cleaned. Really, truly. It's so gross. Like I haven't even gotten to this side. Look, this was how it was left. Yeah, it's I've been running the dishwasher right now. I opened the dishwasher and the whole lip of the dishwasher was black. I sprayed it with bleach, it all came out. And now I'm ready. <laughs> oh my gosh, mom. I, I really you deserve an award. Like even this is their pantry and it's just really grimy. I mean like I get like crumbs and stuff, totally get that. But everything just is sticky and grimy, right? So anyway, we're, I mean. Disgusting. So this is cat food. My mom says it's not even, it's not even grimy. It's disgusting. It's like they never wiped it down. Is what she said. Based on like the carpet, the status of the carpet. <laughs> Make this the thumbnail. <laughs> and if you don't know this, which I guess I don't know if they would. My mom keeps a clean kitchen. What's this pancake syrup? <laughs> what is this? It's like dripping all down it. Did she smoke? I don't think so. It doesn't smell like smoke. Look next, honey. A little cleaning update. We have cleaned, my mom cleaned that whole cabinet and we've cleaned the sink and look at it under the cabinet. 
Like, when I tell you this kitchen is filthy and disgusting. This I is mean, what the whole place is look like. It's just like, and I realize like from like first glance, it doesn't look that bad. But when you get up close, everything is crispy, crusty, dirty, grimy, sticky. There's like brownie batter splatters. It's just really, really bad. So I just scrubbed this bread box lid down. Look how good it looks. There's, we don't know what any of this stuff is, honestly. So we're just slowly making our way. I think this is gonna be a nice spot. I mean, we're gonna tear this whole kitchen out eventually, but I think for now, this is actually gonna be a nice spot for a, um, an ice maker. And there's plugs back here, so we can actually put the toaster back here and make our own little appliance garage. So that's kind of fun. All right, we're gonna keep moving. cleaning for quite a while now and we've done all of these and a lot of the we've done a lot um it's it's a lot so we just discovered that the she wallpapered like actually wallpapered who thinks that's a good idea <sighs> so now Her you wallpapered a shelf in a cabinet and it's like the number one main shelf because the dishwasher's here. So it's like where you would put a lot of your stuff because it's right close. It's not like it's way over here in the corner. So we're trying to figure out. Well, I can do that, Blair, and I just roll it. Yeah. That's all I can do. I don't know. So we got that going for us. I did, we brought our ice maker over and it's making ice now. Um, it's actually a perfect spot for it with the fridge right here and it like tucks away really perfectly. And then we can put um, like our toaster and they actually, I was talking about an appliance garage the other day and they actually do have like a little mini one. The kids are being really super sweet playing with this balloon. I brought my air purifier over and it's just on the mantle. Oh, wow. All right, just to give you an idea of kind of what we're working with here. So like here is one of the cabinet handles and cabinets. And then here's the bottom shelf. I don't even know what the upper shelves look like. And then there's mystery staining going on here. And then in this one, yeah, there's like grime and just all, this is how every single one of them looks. Take a look at this one. <laughs> it is I mean, foul. It is disgusting. And this is how they have literally all been. So we have gotten done most, mostly this whole side. We have a couple. We have a couple. It's left. really clean. Believe it or not, it's, it's nasty. Ones. I mean, like, yeah, like you look at the handles and the cabinets, and they're they're clean now because we have scrubbed. You can see, like, all of these looks just like that other one. Um, if you haven't been following along, we or did I already say, we already are working with a contractor and we're going to tear all this out and refinish it, but obviously we're going to move in first and so we need it to be sanitary <laughs> for the next, I don't know. <laughs> we're just going piece by piece and getting it done as much as we can. Um, the guys ran back to Home Depot to return those two toilets that were cracked and um, they had a couple of things they also needed to get, like longer bolts for bolting down the toilet or something like that. And then um, they picked up dinner and they're on their way back to us now. So I don't know. Oh, Colin, it's okay. The kids are starting to get a little bored. I mean, there's, I actually did have Nora pack up a, um, if you can see that big suitcase back there, full of toys for the two of them. And they've been playing in that today and they played outside in the um, baby pool, but we've been here for quite a while. And so they're starting to get a little stir crazy. So we'll eat dinner and then I'll probably go ahead and take them home. And um, let me just set you up here because I feel like I'm all over the place. We'll um, go home and I'll do bedtime with them. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if my dad and Riley stayed up here for a couple more hours to just like, are you mopping for mommy? Thank you. Thank you, Mama. Colin do it? There you go, Colin do it. He's so sweet. Um, 
I'll take them home and do bath and bedtime with them. Um, I was gonna say, and then I'll come back up here, but no, I won't. Once they're in bed, I'll obviously stay home to make sure that they're safe. I also listed on Facebook Marketplace today, I think I already said I listed several things um, like our living room couches and living room coffee table, our high chair, which is the end of an era. Um, what else? Oh, kitchen appliances, a blender we never use, a food processor we never use, a mandolin slicer we never use. I listed all of that on Facebook Marketplace and I've sold almost all of it. I think there's one thing of the batch that I haven't sold yet. Um, and people are coming to pick them up tonight and tomorrow. So I need to be home this evening for that as well for the pickups. But that'll be nice because I there's so much noise. I don't want to move anything that we're not going to use in this house. And so I, we don't need those couches. We have two living spaces in our old home and just this one bigger one in this home. So we don't need it. Okay, that's the update. And cat hair all along the bottom. Next up is to replace, sorry, that was loud. The drawer pulls. Hi, little man. <laughs> well, hello, hello. It is the next day. You want to come inside? And um, it's Sunday now, Sunday afternoon. We just said goodbye to my parents. I actually, wow, my mom did so much in here. This is the first time I've been in the new house today. Um, look how much cleaner it looks. Oh, my stars, it looks so much better. Wow, she did all of these. This morning I stayed home with the kids because I wanted Colin to get a solid morning nap and also because we had two different families picking up some Facebook Marketplace purchases. So one family bought the dresser that was in our guest room and the other family bought the living room set that we had in the front of our house, like that off-white set and the coffee table. So while I was doing that, the men were up here working on a few different things. I wanna go see the guest bath because that was their main project um, lately. And my mom came up here. Obviously I told her that she could just stay home with me and hang out with the kids, but she was like, no, I really wanna go up there and work on, wow, work on cleaning. So let me show you what the men have been after here in the guest bath. So they installed our new vanity. I will link it. It's from Home Depot. Um, I really liked it because of this drawer. I love when vanities, this looks amazing, right? Um, I love when vanities have a drawer like that. And then just two drawers and they're soft clothes and then a nice sized um, cabinet down there. And this is 30 inches. And then I picked um, a faucet to go with it and I wanted matte black. And then it has the little H and the little C on it. Oh my goodness. So fun. And we got a new toilet, <laughs> um, which is great because this house needs, you know, new, new everything really. Um, and then we brought, I haven't ordered, I need to order a light fixture for this space tonight. And I want to get some cool art for above the toilet. And then we brought this mirror, which was hanging in Colin's room um, to hang above it because I think that like a circle gold mirror would be really pretty in there. Wow, it looks really awesome. And actually the gold will be nice because it will somewhat tie in the brass, which we just are not gonna replace quite yet. Um, we do need to also get like a new shower head and a new shower. They did all white plastic in this house, which just has like a very hospital look. So pretty much anything would be a little bit more sleek than that, but I love the look of this love this drawer and I love that there's yeah like when people come to visit they can put their makeup and toothbrushes and hairbrushes and stuff in here and even though this isn't a very large space oops I'm bumping into the door here to put a vanity I was trying to get one that was wide enough that there was space to put you know a hair dryer or a curling iron or makeup or whatever it might be um, for guests who come to stay so it's not enormous, but it's definitely functional. It's more counter space than we have in our current guest bathroom, which has worked for us for seven years. So we can definitely make it work. Let's see, is there anything else? Oh, they put the handles on. There were a couple of doors that didn't have the handles yet. 
And then there's like, we've been bringing random stuff over here. So there's some random stuff. But those look really nice. I don't know if there's anything else. I know my mom cleaned the wet bar, which is a huge win. Wow, oh my gosh, it looks so much better. There were all these dusty wine bottles and cat-shaped bottles and all kinds of stuff. And she cleaned all. Oh, uh, maybe she didn't get to the drawers. Or maybe she did and these are, she was just saving these because actually that doesn't look so bad compared to what a lot of the drawers have looked like. This is a paper towel that's like fused. No, it doesn't seem like she got to the drawers. It seems like she did the upper part though, which is great. I need to text her and ask so that I don't double back on her work. Although everything's so grimy, it's pretty easy to tell what's what. Um, did I already show you these yesterday? I think I did. Amazing storage. Right outside of the kitchen where we have like some small appliances. We brought our ice maker over here, plugged it in, got it going. Um, and wow, the kitchen looks infinitely better than it did yesterday, just already. And that's a little update. Let me also show you the progress that has been made in the kids' rooms, in the kids' bathrooms, I should say. So, let me flip the camera around. It looks so much better. <laughs> the potty's coming. So we replaced all the handles in here, and these drawers are actually really nice and really nicely, like, solid wood. So I don't think we will replace them. I definitely do want to replace this countertop because it's like this yellow beige color, but for now it's totally great because obviously neither kid is like using, like they're not like getting ready in the morning or anything. They're three in one, um, but we got new faucets. I will link everything that we got um, below. Everything is... It was one of those white hospital looking um, fixtures. And so we still need to do the, um, there's one on either side. I feel like that's a bit of overkill. I think just one towel hook would be enough. But I think these were already done. And then in here, we are going to tile it next weekend. Um, it's a pretty small, simple space. This is in the kids' Jack and Jill bath, their shower which the whole shower needs to be replaced. We're trying to get a quote for just one of those um, like shower enclosures. We're not looking for like high-end designer tile, anything like that, just like a simple shower enclosure because this one is so, so far gone. Um, so something like that. And then the linen closet and then we got a new potty and then there's nothing that goes here. So I'm thinking either a small piece of furniture or probably just like a row of hooks where we can hang up their towels. Is this your new potty? Where's the potty? <laughs> He's like, I don't know. Potty. potty. And then same thing in Nora's side. Um, the only thing is that, that last, uh-oh, come out here, Colin. That last drawer, we need a, another screw and it looks like we need another one for this, the side of this as well. But lots got done. It looks like a completely different house. It's really unbelievable. Every time that we come up here, we're, we like notice more and more and more things. Now that some of the obvious things are done, like the flooring and the paint, it's like, oh, we need, we need to update light fixtures eventually. And a lot of the blinds, these ones are not actually bad. A lot of the blinds are broken or scratched or just really bad. These aren't super bad. The bathrooms look great. Light switch covers need to be scrubbed clean or replaced. You know, there's a lot. One singular light. I've been trying to find something that I like as the foyer entryway light, and I've seen quite a few things. Actually, compared to like what we have dealt with, this is really not that bad. This one over here is a little bit less um, interesting and appealing to me, but we will just chip away at things one at a time. It's it's actually really fun after having lived in a house where there weren't really any updates to make other than just like stylistic decisions to be in a house just full of projects. Now, there are times in life where a house full of projects would just be complete stress, but we have just been super excited by them. Very like our creative juices are flowing. and We've like been able to, I don't know, we're just having like a really good time with it. And it's been really fun, honestly picking out things and watching the space slowly transform and 
there's still so much more to do, but also so much that's been done. So it's, it's a good feeling. Let me show you the mirror Riley's hanging it right now. Wow, thank you. Oh, that looks super nice. That looks super nice. We need a new um, fixture. There's nothing at Home Depot I'd like, so I'll order something online. But look at that modernized bathroom. What do you think? That'd be the first room done. It will, <laughs> yeah, it will. Maybe I need to just scrub out the shower, but besides, and flip out the shower head. Yeah, we need new shower heads for sure. Yeah, we really do. But it looks really good. What do you think, Nur Nur? What are in those cabinets? Hmm? <gasps> Kitchen stuff? What's in there? Wow, Grammy cleaned that one out today. Oh my goodness. That was the one with the spilled, I don't know, barbecue sauce or soy sauce or something. And with that, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this vlog, but rest assured there will be many more episodes or whatever you wanna say, installments of videos like this, of us chipping away at some of the home improvement projects. I'm not sure if I've already mentioned in this video that my parents are actually coming back next weekend. They told us yesterday morning that they were, they were like, wow, we didn't realize we didn't realize how much work this is and we really want to come and help and support you. And I was just, we were just both really super grateful for that. So they're going to come next weekend during the actual move. I will definitely vlog that as well. And during that time that they're here, they're going to try to, um, my mom and I are going to try to unpack and get settled in. And the men are going to try to do the tile and finish installing the toilets and some of, are you okay? and some of that kind of stuff. So lots and lots of projects. Stay tuned, make sure to subscribe here on YouTube if you don't wanna miss any of the new stuff that's coming. And if you want day-by-day -day updates, you can also subscribe on Instagram. I'm sorry if it's really loud. I will see you guys next week. Bye.